What is going on guys? Radio Graffiti here. And today, I want to talk to you guys about Madam Web. Madam Web is the latest film shit out by Sony. As you guys may be aware at this point, everybody absolutely hates this film. Sony is just completely taking these Spider-Man characters and shitting all over them. First it was Venom, then Morbius, and now Madam Web. With Craven upcoming and a third, you heard me right, third Venom movie on the way. It seems Sony is at no stop when it comes to making these awful spinoffs of Spider-Man characters. Without Spider-Man in them. And my question is, how much longer are they going to go on with this shit? I mean, seriously, what are we even building up to at this point? Are they going to team up at some point? Are they just doing this just for the fuck of it? What What is their end goal with all this? I cannot tell you. But as far as Madam Web, the film itself, it's absolutely terrible. I don't know if I would say it's the worst superhero movie of all time, but it's definitely down there with Batman and Robin, Catwoman, X-Men 3, the 2003 Daredevil movie, all the usual god-awful superhero movies, Fan 4 Stick from 2015, 2016 Suicide Squad. You you get the point. The movie sucks ass. Let me talk to you about the villain for a minute. The villain in this movie, literally all of his dialogue is just dubbed. Cause you see his voice, you see his mouth moving, but what he's saying isn't adding up to what he's saying. Like his lips will move just a little bit, and then what you actually hear is All the girls need to die. I need to kill those bitches before they throw me out of a window. And half the time, they're just showing somebody else's face. It's so fucking jarring every time you start speaking. It really takes you out of the film. I implore you to reconsider. So yeah, the villain is absolutely terrible. There's no redeeming qualities at all. There's... His only motivation is, oh, I had a dream I get killed by some girls, and now I want to murder them. So the villain sucks. The rest of these characters are completely uninteresting and boring. You got Dakota Johnson playing Madam Web, who apparently is a terrible person all throughout the film she's still in taxis she's still in ambulances her character is a complete moron half the things she says all the acting in the film is terrible dialogue is dog shit it's laughably bad tons of cringy foreshadowing for uncle ben which yeah ben parker is in this film as soon as he's getting to meet aunt may which is some of the stuff actually kind of liked about the film i didn't absolutely hate it like all the peter parker stuff it wasn't awful i mean it was kind of interesting it's like okay well if you're gonna make a madam web film i guess yeah you, it's okay to have a side plot with peter parker being born in the film that's kind of neat i think i mean getting to meet peter parker's parents something, something new i guess because all the spider-man films we've never actually met Peter Parker's parents don't know anything about them, so I guess that's pretty interesting in the film. Even though in here, we still never really meet them. You only get a couple scenes here and there. And it's pretty weird that Ben Parker is in this film, and he's just now aware that an evil Spider-Man guy existed. But it doesn't matter because the evil Spider-Man guy gets killed by a Pepsi sign or something. I don't know. I was like half asleep at the end of the film. This movie's so fucking stupid, dude. Oh, and did I mention that Mike Epps, one of the funniest men alive, show up in this movie for like five minutes and he gets killed by a train? The whole movie's actually pretty funny, just how stupid it is. But the problem is it's unintentionally funny and all the attempts at comedy that the film makes fall extremely flat. And the girls she protects, we know little to nothing about them. They spend the whole movie in casual clothing. They wear their suits for literally, like, one scene and there's a vision. So it's a superhero movie with little to no action at all. There's barely any costumes at all. How is this even a superhero movie? It's basically just a average sci-fi movie. You take the costumes out of the film, move the whole silly Peter Parker thing. If you didn't know this was connected to Spider-Man in some sort of way, this isn't even really a superhero movie. So, I don't know. The girls themselves are all just dumb characters. They, they do dumb things. There's little to nothing to them at all. They all apparently have these major parent issues. Conveniently, none of them have, like, a loving parent in their life, it seems like. So they're all just like, oh, well, you know, some lady on a train just happened to meet me one day, and we all just happened to have terrible relationships with our family members, and or they died. That's extremely convenient, isn't it? So, yeah, that's about it for...
my thoughts on Madam Web. I think this movie's absolutely atrocious, but I'm kind of glad I seen it because I couldn't tell you how bad it is unless I seen it for myself. I had to see this one even though I skipped Morbius. So I can't tell you if this is worse than Morbius. I didn't see that movie. I probably never will at this point. But yes, Madam Web is getting awful reviews from critics and audiences alike. Not all of us are like Chris Stuckman and too scared of pussy to make negative reviews about films just because we're trying to be a director now. Yeah, that shit's so stupid, man. Like, dude, if you're gonna be a film critic, be a film critic. Quit being a fucking pussy. You get a green light to make a film and now all of a sudden you're scared of film criticism. Only making positive reviews is just as toxic as only making negative reviews for your channel. You gotta have a a balance of both and just give your honest opinion on all the films you see. But yeah, those are my thoughts on Madam Web. Check it out one night if you want to have a laugh with your friends. But yeah, that's all I've got for now. Thank God there was no end credit scene. Hopefully there's no Madam Web too. Let me know what you guys think about Madam Web if you actually seen it. Or if you didn't see it, that's fine. Just tell me your thoughts on it anyway. Down in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys next time.